Wendy Williams facing federal tax lien due to unpaid taxes. Apparently, legal documents obtained by the news outlet shows that the former talk show host purchased her $4.5 million condo in 2021, but the feds claim Wendy owes them $568,451.57. This unpaid balance is a result of her owing big balances for her federal taxes for the years of 2019 to 2021. You mean during this time that she hasn't been well and then placed under conservatorship? As of right now, there aren't any documents showing that this balance has been taken care of. The news publication also said that they have reached out to Wendy's court appointed guardian of her finances, but haven't received a response yet. What is them people doing with Wendy's money? Y'all, this is so upsetting to me. And I really feel like this is because Wendy really put too much trust in Kevin. Like, that's really what I feel. I feel like she put way too much trust in Kevin. And this is another issue. Even when you are making your own money and you decide that you want to make your man feel like a man and put him in charge of your shit. And now y'all are divorced and people are coming to you and you ain't handling your shit because you having a hard time and you don't have nobody else because you didn't invest in any other relationships. You didn't invest in making sure you had people on top of your shit. You know, like I just kind of feel like Wendy really was letting Kevin handle a lot of things. And when he was no longer in the picture, everything just kind of falls to the wayside. And it does sound like the guardian is not doing their job, but we already knew that. So neighbors get into this. It looks like Wendy Williams has another money problem on her hands. This time from her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter. If having a baby on her and ruining their family wasn't enough, Kevin has filed a motion to judge um, to a judge to get two years worth of back divorce payments from Wendy because she stopped paying them shortly before her guardianship started. She shouldn't have never have had to pay you shit if you ask me. Because essentially you were working for her <laughs> and you really, really fumbled your own bag getting that girl pregnant. This is the reason why I feel like she shouldn't have had to give him alimony because you should have been making sure you were good. You're a fucking grown ass man that knew you were eventually going to leave Wendy for this younger woman. You should have been putting your ducks in a row. And the fact that every other month you online, you know, being uh, 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 ratted on for constantly trying to get more and more money from her. She don't have it. She ain't got it. Kevin, go get a fucking job. Jesus Christ. Talking about this put him in a financial bind. That lady don't even have her, not even have her full faculties right now. You still asking for money. Use a leech. I rely on the, the severance pay for my living expenses and haven't been without this income for 23 months has affected me greatly. Through her guardianship, Kevin wants Wendy to immediately pay all severance payments, which may be due and owing at the time of this court order. On top of this, Kevin is even trying to dip into Wendy's retirement money. Child, he claims her guardian told him he could have access to her financial records, but they've yet to make good on their promise, probably because they felt intimidated and lied to get you out their face. On December 8, 2022, I attended a mediation with Wendy's counsel and Wendy's New York court appointed guardian attorney, Sabrina Morrissey. In that mediation, Wendy's counsel and guardian agreed to provide statements to accounts and bank records that claimed to have gotten permission from the New York court to provide. And that mediation, though, a source close to the situation says the judge told Kevin there wasn't any money. Kevin doesn't believe it, though, and will continue to fight for his part of the money. Oh, Lord, I just I want him to fall and break a hip. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I want him to fall and break a hip because you can go and be security for some fucking body. Go get a job. Sitting up there begging for that lady money all the goddamn time. And you know she going through it. The Wendy Williams lawsuit filed by her guardian has been unsealed. According to the Hollywood Reporter, the complaint was unsealed on Thursday. And claims that the contract broker by A&E Networks, Lifetime's parent company, to shoot the documentary was not valid. Since Williams did not have the legal or mental capacity to authorize her participation in the title at the time. Ain't that some shit going to say that that woman didn't even have a right to, to, to be in her own documentary? Williams was allegedly told that the film would be positive and beneficial to her image. It remains unknown who created the company that entered into a contract with the network allowing Williams to. So y'all don't even know who orchestrated the fucking documentary. Are you serious? This is crazy.
crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, I don't know what the yeah, this is crazy what's happening to Wendy. This is so crazy. I want to know who authorized the contract for her to do the documentary. Who? Y'all, I'm sad for Wendy. I really am. I don't think she deserves this at all. This shit is crazy. <laughs>